रामायण पार्ट सिक्स रामायण लक्ष्मण विथ विश्वामित्र किंग दशरथा वेलकम ब्रह्मर्षि विश्वामित्र विथ रेव्यूरेंस ही ऑफर्ड हिम द बेस्ट सीट एंड ट्रीटेड हिम विद द अटमोस्ट हॉस्पिटैलिटी ही सेड विथ ऑल कॉर्डियलिटी ग्रेट सेज योर अराइवल हैज रेंडर्ड अस प्योर विश्वामित्रा वॉज प्लीज विद द किंग्स ह्यूमिलिटी ही मेड काइंड इंक्वायरीज अबाउट द वेलफेयर ऑफ हिज सब्जेक्ट्स इज योर लैंड ब्लेस्ड विथ प्लेंटी आर योर सब्जेक्ट्स हैप्पी दशरथा आंसर्ड विथ फोल्डेड हैंड्स ग्रेट सेज विथ योर ब्लेसिंग्स द लैंड इज ब्लेस्ड विथ प्लेंटी द पीपल आर राइचियस वी आर हैप्पी फ्री फ्रॉम द थ्रेट ऑफ एनिमीज we rejoice that you have come revered sire if there is something you desire me to do i beg of you tell me however difficult it might be i shall do it dashrada's words made vishwamitra very happy he had come to seek the king's help he answered king your words have gladdened me i have come here with a great objective i want you to fulfill it Dasharatha I have undertaken a great sacrifice but I have not been able to complete it successfully every time I begin the rites two rakshasas Maricha and Subahu pour meat and blood into the fire and defile it and so my endeavor is fruitless I am capable of overcoming the two rakshasas by cursing them but i am bound by the vow of the sacrifice and cannot have recourse to a curse so i have come to you with a request be please to send your son rama with me he will kill the rakshasas and enable me to continue the sacrifice do not doubt if rama who is very young can kill the rakshasas he is formidable in strength he and only he can kill the rakshasas so send him with me without any hesitation dasharatha was deeply troubled when vishwamitra made the request rama was his darling son the pupil of his eyes the sight of rama enabled him to forget that he was aging he could not bear to part from rama the very thought that he had to send rama with vishwamitra and that too to kill rakshasas made him shudder with folded hands dasharatha pleaded with the sage great sage rama is yet of tender years he's never been away from the palace how can he move about in the forest how can he yet so small fight the rakshasas sending him with you serves no purpose instead i shall accompany you and crush the rakshasas i shall ensure that your sacrifice is completed without any obstruction Vishwamitra would not agree. He said, "You do not know Rama's prowess. That is why you speak in this strain. There is no reason why you should be worried about Rama. Send him with me and let him win the glory of vanquishing the Rakshasas." But yet Dashratha could not make up his mind to send Rama. He said, "Revered sage, forgive me." ask me for anything else i shall obey but i cannot send rama vishwamitra was displeased his eyes grew red he thundered king you promised to do whatever i sought but now you are offering lame excuses this is not right you have broken your promise the royal priest vashishta now intervened king honor your pledge should you break your word forever you will be disgraced send rama with sage vishwamitra what does it matter that he has no experience of fighting as long as he is with vishwamitra no harm can befall him from the rakshasas do not imagine that vishwamitra is an ordinary person like any other he is the very embodiment of dharma the righteousness he is also matchless in prowess no one can equal him in the knowledge of weapons the royal priest vashishta now intervened king honor your pledge should you break your word forever you will be disgraced send rama with sage vishwamitra what does it matter that he has no experience of fighting as long as he is with vishwamitra no harm can befall him from the rakshasas 
do not imagine that vishwamitra is an ordinary person like any other he is a very embodiment of dharma the righteousness he is also matchless in prowess no one can equal him in the knowledge of weapons killing the rakshasas is no difficult task for him he can reduce them to ashes in no time but he desires that the glory of destroying the rakshasas should go to your son and so he has come to you send rama with him without hesitation vashishta's words sood the trouble king he now understood vishwamitra's purpose he sought the forgiveness of the sage he then sent for rama and lakshmana and told them why vishwamitra had called at the court rama and lakshmana listened to their father with a smile dashrada said both of you accompany the sage they said yes maharaja we shall do so they bowed to vashishta and vishwamitra to dasharada and other elders in the court they went to the queen's apartments and bowed to them and secured their blessings they then followed vishwamitra carrying their bows and arrows the three went on foot vishwamitra went on narrating stories so that the lads might not find the journey tedious he told them the history of every city and town and river and mountain on the way this was a new experience to rama and lakshmana they listened to the sage's narrative with interest and jest they would ask him questions and clear their doubts spending their time thus fruitfully they came to the southern bank of the sarayu Vishwamitra asked Rama to sit near him and said prince perform achamana with the water of this holy river i shall initiate you into two mantras bala and ati bala which are the mother of all knowledge they will keep you fresh and free from fatigue you will not feel hunger or thirst rakshasas will not be able to approach you even when you are asleep no one can excel you in physical prowess if you repeat this mantras every day you will acquire fame and success rama obeyed the sage bathed in the river and performed achamana achamana means ritualistic sipping of water rama was initiated into the use of the two mantras bala and ati bala his strength and effulgence doubled at once that night they spent on the banks of sarayu they made beds of straw and husks for themselves and lay down the thought never occurred to rama and lakshmana that they were princes who had been accustomed to sleeping on soft beds but now had to lie down on beds of straw myriads of stars twinkled in the sky above the gurgling waters of the sarayu sang lullabies they listened to the fascinating stories which vishwamitra narrated in a soft tone gradually they fell asleep the night ended and day dawned vishwamitra woke up the boys who were in peaceful sleep he said in a sweet voice rama son of kausalya it is dawn wake up and perform the rituals of the morning the boys left their beds at once bathed offered argya to the sun god and repeated the gayatri mantra after completing the morning prayers they touched the feet of vishwamitra the three then continued their journey on the way they came to a big confluence of rivers the sarayu and the ganga meet there the place was dotted with holy hermitages these aroused the curiosity of rama and lakshmana they said holy sire what hermitages are these who dwells in them tell us about the greatness of the place vishwamitra began the story of the place 